All right, it's 11 minutes. Ooh, scratch that, 12 minutes after nine. When you think of artists and creatives, you probably think painters, sculptors, right? What about landscaping? You might not have thought about it this way, but we're about to change your mind. Our friend Tim Miner with Charlotte is Creative is here this morning introducing us to someone new. First of all, welcome gentlemen to both of you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Uh, Tim, welcome back from vacation. We're glad to have <sighs> you with us. I know it's hard to get back into the swing of things, but you've always, you always introduce us to fabulous new people. Yeah, well, this is my good buddy, Gray Edgerton. And as you said, I was on vacation last week. Yeah. And I think we all make that bargain with ourselves when we come back. We're like, I don't want the vacation to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this good vibes going. Yes. I was thinking about being a, a you know, kind of a tourist in in Charlotte and, mm -hmm. and finding new places. And the night we got back, bumped into Gray, and he was telling me about this Serenity Garden that he's building in South Charlotte, just like minutes from where I live. And I thought, this is the perfect, this is the perfect thing to keep the vacation going, right? I went to Oregon. Now I get to get back out in the outdoors and, and enjoy a work of art I can walk into. Yeah, I love that. So, Gray, tell us first a little bit about you and your business. Okay, so uh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> um, my name is Gray Edgerton. I'm an artist uh, designer, and I design artful landscapes for Mac Landscape. So what is the difference between designing a landscape versus maybe something that is a more traditionally considered art like painting a canvas? Well, actually, speaking of that, um, I actually did recently paint a big mural uh, as a part of the Luminous Lane project for Charlotte Shout. Yeah. Um, and the subject of that mural was actually the moon gate that I built for uh, the Serenity Garden. Oh, that's perfect. All right, let's get right to the Serenity Garden. Tell us about it, where it is, and what it's all about. So the Serenity Garden is a uh, private garden of uh, Patrick and Patsy Reams. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been you know, blessed. I'm so grateful that I've been able to you know, create all of these amazing works of art um, in, in their garden. So it's in the, you know, it's near South Park. It's in Mountain Brook, Kingswood area. Uh-huh. Can people go see it? People can go see it? It is a private garden, but there is a public entrance. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, as long as everyone is respectful and um, it's, yeah, it's open to be seen. I mean, these pictures are showing us the oh. art, but talk a little bit about what your favorite pieces in the garden have become. Um, well, most definitely, um, this piece right here is a, a beautiful work that was designed by um, Kyle McEnroe, mm. uh, who's my buddy that I work with. Um, this is the Moon Gate that ah. I uh, completed uh, just earlier this year. Um, the Moon Gate's definitely my favorite. It's, it's really uh, cool. You know, I, I did all the research, and I, you know, and then I step back and I look at this thing that I created, and I'm so proud, and it's, you know, it's the portal to my new life. I love that you should be so proud you know we think of art in one way sometimes and we don't consider the fact that art can be found truly anywhere oh I mean it, it, that's there's an exploratory aspect mm. right I, mean, I think people in Charlotte are have really hip to murals right now and that's that's great mm -hmm. um, but take it a little step further right there are treasures like the Serenity Garden and the sculpture that's in it everywhere and like I said it's one thing to go to a museum and kind of observe a piece of art there's another to kind of interact with it walk into it, walk around it, get close, see how it was it was created. And and Charlotte is fortunate to have little surprises like this all over. And with the weather breaking, get out there, right? Yes. Get out there and find it. I think it's so beautiful. With something like the Serenity Garden Gray, is it something that is ever evolving? I mean, will you be it, able to, it, yeah. Exactly, that's, that's um, you know, that's one part of it is that it is a garden and it's growing, you know, and um, there's, you know, new things in the works and, um, but yeah, I mean, as you know, as far as me, like I, you know, coming from more of a traditional art background and educated in art, and to be in a place where I'm creating permanent, you know, public artworks is, you know, it's it feels amazing. It's really cool. It's really beautiful. We are so happy to meet you. Well done. Thanks for bringing the coolest ca cats over to I see mean, us. I mean, this this is a cool cat. So. Telling you what. It's a pleasure. All the information for the Serenity Garden there on your screen. We'll put more information up for you and get you to all the places you need to go.
Uh, there's all the information for Mac Landscape as well. And of course, if you want to learn more about Charlotte is Creative, we make it easy for you to do that as well. There's their website, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Fellas, thanks for coming to see us. That was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Are, are you struggling to get back into work mode from vacation? You know I love the Queen City, but I left a little bit of my uh, heart on the West Coast. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> Don't you get any ideas. No, I, listen, I, Oregon is Creative doesn't quite have the <laughs> <laughs> that no. Charlotte is creative. Does. No, you are right where you need to be. Thanks, guys, so much.